In the tumultuous journey of life, navigating the complexities of existence can often leave us feeling adrift in a sea of uncertainty. In such moments, ancient philosophies like Stoicism emerge as guiding lights, offering timeless wisdom and practical principles to help us navigate the storms of life with resilience and clarity. Rooted in the teachings of ancient Greek and Roman philosophers, Stoicism presents a framework for living a life of virtue, resilience, and inner peace, even amidst the chaos of the external world. In this episode, we embark on a journey into the heart of Stoic philosophy, exploring the nine fundamental rules that serve as pillars of wisdom for Stoics across the ages. From the dichotomy of control to the pursuit of virtue, each rule offers profound insights into the human condition and provides practical guidance for living a life of meaning and purpose. Join us as we delve into the rich tapestry of Stoic wisdom, uncovering the timeless truths that continue to resonate with seekers of wisdom and truth in the modern world. Through exploration and reflection, we seek to unravel the mysteries of Stoicism and discover how its principles can enrich our lives and empower us to face life's challenges with courage, grace, and resilience. Chapter 1. The Dichotomy of Control At the heart of Stoic philosophy lies the principle of the dichotomy of control. This fundamental concept teaches us to distinguish between things that are within our control and those that are not. According to Stoicism, our peace of mind and well-being depend on our ability to focus our attention and efforts on the former while accepting the latter with equanimity. In essence, the dichotomy of control reminds us that external events, other people's actions, and even our past or future circumstances are beyond our control. No matter how much we may wish to influence or change them, these factors lie outside the sphere of our power. On the other hand, our thoughts, emotions, desires, and actions are within our control. We have the power to choose how we respond to external events and the attitude we adopt towards them. Embracing the dichotomy of control frees us from the burden of trying to control the uncontrollable. Instead of wasting our energy and mental resources on futile attempts to change things beyond our influence, we can direct our focus inward and work on cultivating qualities such as wisdom, courage, temperance, and justice. By doing so, we can attain a sense of inner peace and tranquility regardless of the external circumstances. The dichotomy of control teaches us the importance of letting go of attachment to outcomes and accepting reality as it is. It encourages us to adopt a mindset of acceptance and resilience, recognizing that while we cannot always control what happens to us, we can always control how we choose to respond. As we navigate the ups and downs of life, embracing the dichotomy of control allows us to live with greater clarity, purpose, and inner freedom. By focusing our efforts on what is within our control and accepting with equanimity that which is not, we can cultivate a deeper sense of peace and contentment in our lives. Chapter 2. Virtue as the Soul Good In Stoic philosophy, the pursuit of virtue is paramount. Virtue, defined as the cultivation of wisdom, courage, temperance, and justice, is considered the soul good. Unlike external goods such as wealth, fame, or pleasure, which are subject to change and outside of our control, virtue resides within us and is entirely within our power to cultivate. The Stoics believed that living a virtuous life is not only the key to personal fulfillment, but also the path to eudaimonia, or flourishing. By aligning our actions with the principles of virtue, we can achieve a state of inner harmony and well-being that transcends external circumstances. Wisdom, the first and foremost virtue, involves cultivating a deep understanding of the nature of reality and living in accordance with reason. It requires us to seek truth, to question our assumptions, and to make decisions based on sound judgment rather than impulsive desires. Courage, the second virtue, entails facing challenges and adversity with bravery and resilience. It involves overcoming fear and taking bold action in pursuit of what is right, even in the face of uncertainty or danger. Temperance, the third virtue, involves practicing moderation and self-control in all aspects of life. It requires us to restrain our desires and appetites, 
to avoid excess and indulgence, and to cultivate inner peace and tranquility. Finally, justice, the fourth virtue, involves treating others with fairness, kindness, and respect. It requires us to recognize the inherent worth and dignity of every human being and to act in ways that promote the common good. By prioritizing the cultivation of virtue above all else, Stoicism invites us to live a life of integrity, authenticity, and moral excellence. It teaches us that true happiness and fulfillment are found not in the pursuit of external goods, but in the pursuit of virtue and the development of a virtuous character. As we strive to embody the virtues of wisdom, courage, temperance, and justice in our daily lives, we can cultivate a sense of inner peace and purpose that transcends the fleeting pleasures and pains of the external world. In doing so, we can attain a state of eudaimonia and live a life that is truly meaningful and fulfilling. Chapter 3. Live in accordance with nature. Central to Stoic philosophy is the idea of living in accordance with nature. But what does it mean to live in harmony with the natural order of the universe? For the Stoics, it involves aligning our thoughts, actions, and desires with the fundamental principles that govern the cosmos. At its core, living in accordance with nature entails recognizing and accepting the inherent order and rationality of the universe. According to Stoic belief, the universe is governed by a divine intelligence, or logos, which orchestrates the unfolding of events according to a predetermined plan. As rational beings, our task is to align our lives with this cosmic order and fulfill our role as rational agents within it. Living in accordance with nature also involves embracing our own nature as human beings. This means recognizing our capacity for reason and rationality and using it to guide our actions and decisions. It also means acknowledging our interconnectedness with the rest of the natural world and recognizing that we are part of a larger whole. For the Stoics, living in accordance with nature also means embracing the inevitability of change and impermanence. Just as the seasons change and the tides ebb and flow, so too are our lives subject to the rhythms of nature. By accepting this reality and embracing the transient nature of all things, we can cultivate a sense of equanimity and acceptance in the face of life's inevitable ups and downs. Practically speaking, living in accordance with nature involves cultivating certain attitudes and behaviors. It means practicing gratitude for the blessings of the present moment and accepting with equanimity the challenges and hardships that come our way. It means living with integrity, authenticity, and moral excellence, and treating others with kindness, compassion, and respect. Ultimately, living in accordance with nature is about aligning our lives with the fundamental principles that govern the cosmos and living in harmony with the natural order of the universe. By doing so, we can cultivate a sense of inner peace, purpose, and fulfillment that transcends the transient pleasures and pains of the external world. Chapter 4. Practice Acceptance of What Cannot Be Changed one of the central tenets of Stoic philosophy is the practice of acceptance of what cannot be changed. Stoicism teaches us to recognize that there are certain aspects of life that lie beyond our control, and that our peace of mind depends on our ability to accept these realities with equanimity. In life, we often encounter situations and circumstances that are beyond our control. Whether it's the actions of others, external events, or the inevitable passage of time, there are countless factors that we cannot influence or change. Stoicism teaches us that rather than resisting or fighting against these realities, we should accept them as they are and focus our energy on what we can control. Practicing acceptance does not mean resignation or passivity. It does not mean that we should simply give up in the face of adversity or injustice. Instead, it means acknowledging the reality of the situation and choosing to respond with grace and resilience. Acceptance allows us to let go of attachment to outcomes and release the grip of anxiety, fear, and frustration. By accepting what cannot be changed, we free ourselves from the burden of trying to control the uncontrollable and open ourselves up to a greater sense of peace and contentment. 
Acceptance also fosters resilience and adaptability in the face of adversity. Rather than dwelling on past regrets or worrying about an uncertain future, we can focus our attention on the present moment and take proactive steps to cope with challenges and move forward with courage and determination. In essence, practicing acceptance is about embracing life as it is, with all its imperfections and uncertainties. It's about finding peace and contentment in the midst of chaos and change, and cultivating a sense of inner freedom that transcends external circumstances. As we navigate the ups and downs of life, let us remember the words of the Stoic philosopher Epictetus, make the best use of what is in your power, and take the rest as it happens. By practicing acceptance of what cannot be changed, we can cultivate a greater sense of peace, resilience, and well-being in our lives. Chapter 5. Cultivate Inner Strength Through Adversity In the journey of life, adversity is inevitable. Whether it comes in the form of setbacks, challenges, or hardships, adversity tests our resilience and calls upon us to summon our inner strength. Stoicism offers valuable insights and practices for navigating adversity with grace, courage, and fortitude. Rather than viewing adversity as a source of suffering or despair, Stoicism teaches us to see it as an opportunity for growth and self-discovery. Adversity provides us with the chance to cultivate virtues such as courage, resilience, and wisdom, and to deepen our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. One of the key teachings of Stoicism is the concept of amor fati, or the love of fate. Amor fati involves embracing everything that happens to us both the good and the bad, as necessary and beneficial for our growth and development. Instead of resisting or lamenting our circumstances, we can learn to accept them with gratitude and see them as opportunities for learning and self-improvement. Stoicism also teaches us to adopt a mindset of equanimity in the face of adversity. Rather than allowing ourselves to be consumed by fear, anger or despair, we can cultivate a sense of inner calm and acceptance. This doesn't mean denying or suppressing our emotions, but rather acknowledging them with compassion and responding to them with wisdom and courage. Another valuable Stoic practice for navigating adversity is negative visualization. This involves imagining the worst-case scenarios that could happen in our lives and reflecting on how we would cope with them. By mentally preparing ourselves for adversity, we can build resilience and develop a sense of confidence in our ability to overcome challenges. Finally, Stoicism teaches us to focus on what is within our control and let go of what is not. While we may not be able to control external events or the actions of others, we always have control over our own thoughts, attitudes, and responses. By directing our attention and efforts towards what is within our power, we can navigate adversity with grace and dignity. As we face the inevitable challenges and hardships of life, let us remember the words of the Stoic philosopher Seneca, difficulties strengthen the mind, as labor does the body. Through the practice of Stoic principles such as amor fati, equanimity, negative visualization, and focusing on what is within our control, we can cultivate inner strength and resilience that will carry us through even the darkest of times. Chapter 6. Live with Intention and Purpose Living with intention and purpose is a central theme in Stoic philosophy. It involves aligning our actions and decisions with our core values and principles and striving to live a life of meaning and significance. Stoicism teaches us that a life lived with purpose is a life worth living. Rather than drifting aimlessly through life, buffeted by the winds of fate, we can choose to live with intention and direction. This means identifying what truly matters to us and committing to pursue it wholeheartedly. One of the key Stoic practices for living with intention is the practice of self-reflection and introspection. By taking the time to reflect on our values, goals, and priorities, we can gain clarity about what we want to achieve in life and what steps we need to take to get there. Stoicism also encourages us to cultivate a sense of inner discipline and self-mastery. This involves developing the habit of setting goals and making conscious choices that align with our values and aspirations. 
It means taking responsibility for our actions and decisions and actively shaping our lives in accordance with our highest ideals. Living with intention and purpose also requires us to embrace the concept of the here and now. Rather than dwelling on the past or worrying about the future, we can focus our attention on the present moment and make the most of the opportunities it presents. This means fully engaging with whatever we are doing, whether it's work, relationships, or leisure activities, and bringing our full presence and awareness to each moment. Finally, Stoicism teaches us to cultivate a sense of gratitude for the blessings of life and to approach each day with a sense of purpose and gratitude. By acknowledging the preciousness of life and the opportunities it offers, we can live with greater meaning and fulfillment. In essence, living with intention and purpose is about taking ownership of our lives and actively shaping our destinies. By aligning our actions with our values and aspirations, cultivating self-discipline and self-mastery, and embracing the present moment with gratitude and purpose, we can live a life that is rich in meaning and fulfillment. Chapter 7. Practice Self-Discipline and Moderation Self-discipline and moderation are essential virtues in Stoic philosophy, guiding us to live a life of balance, temperance, and inner harmony. By cultivating self-discipline and practicing moderation in our thoughts, desires, and actions, we can achieve greater control over our lives and foster a sense of inner peace and well-being. Stoicism teaches us that excessive indulgence in pleasure or desire can lead to moral weakness and spiritual decay. Conversely, exercising self-discipline and practicing moderation allows us to cultivate inner strength and resilience, enabling us to resist temptation and overcome the obstacles that stand in the way of our goals and aspirations. One of the key principles of self-discipline in Stoicism is the practice of voluntary hardship. This involves deliberately subjecting ourselves to discomfort or difficulty in order to strengthen our willpower and character. By willingly embracing challenges and discomforts, we can build resilience and develop the mental toughness needed to face life's inevitable trials and tribulations. Moderation, on the other hand, involves finding the middle path between excess and deficiency in all areas of life. Whether it's food, drink, material possessions, or even our emotions, practicing moderation allows us to avoid extremes and maintain a sense of balance and harmony. It means exercising restraint and self-control, even when faced with the temptation to indulge in excess. Stoicism also teaches us to cultivate mindfulness and self-awareness as tools for practicing self-discipline and moderation. By paying attention to our thoughts, emotions, and impulses, we can become more aware of the underlying desires and motivations that drive our actions. This awareness empowers us to exercise greater control over our behavior and make choices that align with our values and goals. Ultimately, practicing self-discipline and moderation is about cultivating a sense of inner mastery and self-control. By tempering our desires, restraining our impulses, and exercising restraint in all areas of life, we can cultivate a sense of inner peace, contentment, and fulfillment that transcends the fleeting pleasures of the external world. Chapter 8 He Embraced the Virtue of Resilience Resilience is a hallmark of Stoic philosophy, embodying the ability to bounce back from adversity, setbacks, and challenges with strength and grace. Stoicism teaches us that life is inherently unpredictable and filled with obstacles, and that developing resilience is essential for navigating its ups and downs with equanimity and fortitude. At its core, resilience involves cultivating a mindset of stoic acceptance and adaptability in the face of adversity. Rather than allowing ourselves to be overwhelmed or defeated by life's challenges, we can choose to embrace them as opportunities for growth and learning. By reframing adversity as a catalyst for personal development, we can transform setbacks into stepping stones on the path to success and fulfillment. Stoicism also teaches us to practice negative visualization as a means of building resilience. This involves imagining the worst-case scenarios that could happen in our lives and mentally preparing ourselves to cope with them. By confronting our fears and anxieties in this way, 
we can develop the emotional resilience and psychological fortitude needed to face life's uncertainties with courage and resilience. Another key aspect of resilience in Stoicism is the cultivation of inner strength and self-reliance. Rather than seeking validation or support from external sources, Stoics strive to cultivate a sense of self-sufficiency and autonomy. By developing a strong sense of self-esteem and self-confidence, we can weather life storms with greater resilience and confidence in our ability to overcome adversity. Stoicism also emphasizes the importance of maintaining perspective and keeping a long-term view in times of adversity. By recognizing that setbacks and challenges are often temporary and transient, we can maintain hope and optimism even in the face of adversity. This long-term perspective allows us to see beyond the immediate difficulties and focus on the opportunities for growth and renewal that lie ahead. Ultimately, resilience in Stoicism is about cultivating a sense of inner strength, adaptability, and perseverance in the face of adversity. By embracing life's challenges with courage and resilience, we can emerge stronger, wiser, and more resilient than ever before. Chapter 9. Foster Meaningful Connections and Community In Stoic philosophy, the importance of meaningful connections and community is emphasized as a crucial component of a fulfilling and virtuous life. While Stoicism often emphasizes individual resilience and self-mastery, it also recognizes the importance of cultivating supportive relationships and contributing to the well-being of others. Stoicism teaches us that we are social beings by nature, and that our happiness and fulfillment are intimately connected to the quality of our relationships with others. By fostering meaningful connections with family, friends, and community members, we can cultivate a sense of belonging purpose, and shared humanity. One of the key virtues in Stoicism is benevolence, which involves treating others with kindness, compassion, and generosity. By cultivating a spirit of benevolence towards others, we not only contribute to their well-being, but also enrich our own lives in the process. Acts of kindness and compassion strengthen our bonds with others and create a sense of connection and belonging that is essential for our emotional and spiritual well-being. Stoicism also emphasizes the importance of cultivating virtuous friendships, or philosophical friendships, as they are often referred to. These are relationships based on mutual respect, trust, and shared values, where individuals support and challenge each other in their pursuit of virtue and wisdom. Philosophical friendships provide a source of encouragement, accountability, and moral support, helping us to grow and develop as individuals. In addition to fostering individual connections, Stoicism encourages active participation in community life and the pursuit of the common good. By contributing to the well-being of our communities through acts of service, volunteerism, and civic engagement, we can make a positive impact on the world around us and find a sense of purpose and fulfillment in serving others. Ultimately, fostering meaningful connections and community is essential for living a life of virtue, meaning, and fulfillment. By cultivating relationships based on kindness, compassion, and mutual support, and actively participating in the life of our communities, we can create a more harmonious and interconnected world where all individuals can thrive and flourish. As we conclude our exploration of the nine rules of Stoicism, let us reflect on the profound wisdom and timeless insights that this ancient philosophy offers. From the practice of self-discipline and moderation to the cultivation of resilience and meaningful connections, Stoicism provides us with a roadmap for living a life of virtue, meaning, and fulfillment. In a world filled with uncertainty and change, Stoicism offers us a guiding light, a philosophy that empowers us to navigate life's challenges with courage, grace, and wisdom. By embracing the principles of Stoicism and incorporating them into our daily lives, we can cultivate inner peace, resilience, and well-being, regardless of the external circumstances. As we strive to embody the virtues of wisdom, courage, temperance, and justice, let us remember the words of the Stoic philosophers who have come before us. Let us heed their wisdom and guidance as we seek to live lives of purpose, integrity, and moral excellence. 
May we continue to journey on the path of Stoicism with open hearts and minds, embracing its teachings and principles as we navigate the complexities of existence. And may we find solace, inspiration, and strength in the timeless wisdom of this ancient philosophy as we strive to live lives of virtue, meaning, and fulfillment.